You know, FSSC, BRC, GAS, and IFS have issued more than 50,000 certificates worldwide. So this is very important for all of us to understand some basics of these standards. So I have listed 10 most common questions that is being asked by the recruiters in food industries. And in this video, I am going to give you the quick answers of these questions. Let's begin with question number one. What does FSSC, BRC, GS and IFS stands for? This is simple one. FSSC stands for Food Safety System Certification. BRC GS stands for Brand Reputation for Compliance Global Standard. Previously, it was uh, known as uh, British Retailer Consortium, uh, but after 2012, I guess, uh, it has been changed into Brand Reputation for Compliance. And IFS stands for International Featured Standard. Uh, there is a misconception that F of this IFS means food, uh, but this is not the case. IFS stands for International Featured Standard, not Food Standard. Question number two. What is the current version and issuance year of FSSC, BRC, GS and IFS standard? So the current version of FSSC is version 5.1 and it was issued in November 2020. BRC, GS uh, current version is issue 8 and it was issued in August 2018. And the current version of IFS uh, is version 7 and it was issued in September 2020. Question number 3. What is the validity of FSSC, BRC, GS and IFS certification? So FSSC certificate is valid for three years based on uh, the timely uh, surveillance audits which is conducted uh, uh, yearly. Uh, whereas the validity of BRC and IFS certificate is for one year. Question number four. What is the accreditation scheme of FSSC, BRC, GS and IFS? So this is uh, something typical. Uh, basically, uh, BRC, GS and IFS certified uh, certification bodies has to go for uh, ISO 17065 accreditation. So this um, IFS and BRC, GS is called uh, ISO 17065 accredited schemes. Whereas FSSC uh, certified uh, certification bodies, accredited certification bodies has to go for ISO 17021 accreditation and this uh, FSSC uh, certification scheme is called 17021 accreditation scheme. Uh, what is the difference between 17065 and ISO 17021? We will discuss uh, this, matter, this topic in some other video. Question number 5. Is FSSC, BRC, GS, IFS are GFSI approved standard? Yes. All these three standards are GFSI approved schemes. Question number six, what is the requirement of surprise audit in FSSC, IFS and BRCGS? So all these three standards have the requirement for one surprise or unannounced audit in three years time period. Question number seven, is there any grade system in FSSC, BRCGS and IFS? No, there is no grade system in FSSC, but yes, there is a grade system in BRCGS based on the level and number of non committees being raised uh, during audit. Uh, these grades are double A, A, B, C and D. Similarly, IFS also have the grade system, um, two grade system actually. Uh, one is the higher level and other one is the foundation level. And again, it is based on the level of uh, deviations and non committees being raised uh, during IFS audit. Question number eight, what are the important clauses in FSSC, uh, BRC, GS and IFS? So FSSC has no special uh, requirements. All requirements have the same level of importance. But in BRC, GS, um, they have highlighted and identified 12 fundamental clauses, requirements. And IFS has determined and identified 10 KO requirements. So these are the uh, important clauses in IFS and BRC. Question number nine. Is HACCP a part of FSSC, BRC, GS and IFS? Yes, HACCP is a part of all these three standards. Uh, HACCP is present in clause 8 of ISO 22000, which is a part, one of the standard of FSSC, uh, clause 2 of BRC, GS and similarly clause 2 of IFS standard. Question number 10. Can we use the logo of FSSC, BRC, GS and IFS on packaging? No, we cannot use, uh, like if uh, we pass the audit, we get the certificate, even then we cannot uh, publish the logo on uh, final packaging, either it is primary pack, tertiary pack, secondary pack, 
we can only use the logo of IFS, BRC, GS and FSC on promotional materials like uh, brochures, websites, flyers, letterheads, visiting cards, etc. So this is all for now. Uh, if you want uh, some details about these topics, uh, you can go and check out uh, the detailed and specific videos on these topics. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. channel. Thank you.